This is the room Lilith and I share. I feel like it's much more of Rhea's room than mine though, considering how I don't spend nearly as much time there. There just isn't enough space to put all my clothes. I mean, the closet is only like what, 400 square feet? I think it was 500. I'll have to ask one of the servants to measure it. Speaking of the servants, um, I'm sorry if they were a bit intimidating. I know I could be a bit scary seeing them stationed everywhere, always watching you with that thousand yard stare, but they're harmless, we swear. So don't let them scare you away. Right. Please don't let them scare you away. Just let us know if there's anything we can do to make you more comfortable. Whether you want to ride in one of the helicopters, a visit to our aquarium, or anything the chefs can whip up, just let us know. Exactly. We love to have you here. You're the only one who ever visited us. It gets so lonely here. I know we have a million or so servants, but they aren't much company. Uh, you have no idea how right Lilith is. The servants might as well be statues. They can't hold as much as a conversation. They just stare on blankly with that eerie stare. So lonely with them. Lilith and I, we surround ourselves with all these servants, but it still doesn't do anything to get rid of their crippling loneliness. Yeah, even the animals don't want to keep us company if they can help it. Don't you notice how quiet it is around the estate's grounds? You don't even hear the chirping of the birds, right? They don't bother coming here. No animals do. Hmm. <sighs> but at least that means we don't have any bugs. Right, silver linings. You have to find silver linings and things if you want to keep your sanity for all these years. Oh, but I'm sorry. Are my sister and I boring you? That's simply going to. Of course! You're our guest. Our only guest. The only guest we've ever had. So if there's anything we can do to make you interested in staying longer, do let us know. Anything. Why don't we all do something fun together? Is there anything you have in mind? If not, might I give you some recommendations? We have laser tag, complete with a cord made specifically for the game. You might need some extra assistance if you're going to go up against Rhea or me, but we can always lend you at least 50 or so of the servants to play on your team to help you out a bit. We can even command them to follow your orders, so it'll be like your squad leader or a general or something. It's fitting, since you're so important. Or we could light up some fireworks. I think I've got a few lying around. Maybe a few thousand dollars worth or so. We could think of it as celebrating you. Or at least, your visit to our estate. And we don't have to worry about disturbing anyone. Who cares how legal it is? There's no one living within miles and miles of us. Do you like speedboard racing? Rhea and I do it from time to time in our lake. We could teach you how to drive, if you'd like. It's really not that hard. And we'll be there, right with you, to take care of you if anything goes wrong. You'll be completely safe. We promise. You can even hold on to us, if you're scared of falling off. It's no bother. Trust us. Or if you don't want to drive yourself, you can always just tag along with one of us as we race each other. Feeling the wind whoosh by as you speed across the lake is such a thrilling experience. That you just have to try. And we'd love to share it with you. Or maybe you'd like to see our car collection. We'd love to show you. The old things are just gathering dust otherwise. We've got many cars worth collecting, really. Ferrari Monsters, Bentley Beclairs, Bugatti Blades. You name it. Lilith can tell you some of the other ones too. I'm personally not actually into cars at all myself, so I don't recall the names. I think we also have a Lamborghini Venomo if I'm getting that name right. Maybe you don't just want to look? You can drive them too if you'd like. Nothing's off limits for you. Nothing. Our home is your home. 
And you have no idea how much we mean that. Seriously, you can stay here for as long as you like. You can even live here with us if you'd like. We're serious. Yeah, you'd love it here. I'm sure there's so many things you'd love to do here. I mean, I'm sure one of the activities we mentioned must have caught your attention, right? Which one do you want? Just tell us. None of them? Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe you're hungry. We've got so much fancy food here. We've got French, Italian, Japanese, you name it. We've even got Austrian and Korean and, um... Ria, what other foods do we have? Oh, uh, you've got food from countries you haven't even heard of. We've got, um, Dvalian. We've got Dvalian food. Just please stay. Please don't leave us. Not like everyone and everything else. Everyone else always runs away crying and screaming from us. All because of these stupid vampire powers. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. <gasps> yes. You heard Lilith, right? Vampires. I suppose we're going to find out sooner or later. We might as well come clean. We really are vampires. As for what a vampire is like, well... Popular media isn't that far off. Blood drinkers that prowl the night with superhuman strength. And with a lifespan longer than most countries? That's us. Our long lives really come in handy when amassing wealth. It's one of the reasons we're so well off. But there are some things money just can't buy. For instance, you know the servants you all saw around here? Their thralls. You can sort of think of them as fleshy androids. They're nice, super helpful. They take care of cleaning and the general upkeep of our state, but they still can't hold a conversation or do anything intellectually or socially stimulating. Especially not like you can. No amount of money fixes their flaws. There are so many times I'm just starving for a hey. How are you? How do you feel? You've been looking kind of down recently. Is there anything I can do? But they still just give me that blank, mocking stare. The one that reminds you that their appearance is just teasing you. That they aren't as human as they look. They can't treat you like a person. And although Rhea and I have each other for company, it'd be nice if we had more than just one other person. And not to mention we're sisters, so obviously we can't satisfy each other romantically. But that's where you come in. We can't have anyone but you. You're the only one for us. Well... We don't want anyone but you, anyway. You're the only one who tolerates us. See, Lilith and I aren't just normal vampires. Even by supernatural standards of vampires. Because certain bloodlines of vampires might have particular supernatural powers. And ours is one such bloodline. The power of our bloodline is a passive aura of fear. Basically, other creatures nearby are scared to death of us. Even before we're within their sight, their legs start to shake. Their heart beats faster and faster, the sweat flooding down their face. Time and time again, without fail, they run away as soon as we're within distance of hearing their screams. It really hurts, actually. Are we really that scary? The power even works through the phone. We never asked for this. We were born with this power. And to make it worse, Lilith and I are... special. Even within our bloodline. See, our other family members, like our parents for instance, also have our aura, obviously. But for them, the aura isn't as strong, and they can even actively suppress it somewhat. But what's most important of all, 
is that it has no effect on fellow vampires. So they can still have, well, a family. But for the two of us, our aura even affects vampires. Eventually, it even affected our family members. They all ran away and left us long ago. We don't have a family. We don't have anyone except for each other. And now, you. Yes, and you. For some reason, you're special. I don't know why, but... Well... You're special. You visited us. You talked to us. All without your legs shaking. All without running away, screaming like everyone else. The aura doesn't seem to affect you. You're the only one for us. The only one. Even if we kidnapped someone so they couldn't run away, they'd get a heart attack by being so close to us. You're the only one who can stay with us. Who can talk to us. Make us smile. Make us laugh. Make us feel loved. Make us feel like people. So stay with us. Stay with us. There's so much we could offer you. We could offer you safety. You like safety, don't you? Everyone does. No one can keep you safer than us. And I'm not just saying that because of the aura of fear we have. Though it's a big part. Who's even going to get close to you to harm you with the two of us around? And our power even works on parasites. So you won't have to worry about anything like that. You won't have to worry about ticks or tapeworms or any other disgusting parasite that would want to hurt you. We'll completely protect you from that. Just be ours. Just be ours to love and be loved by. Well, we won't just be protecting you from threats that get too close. No. We'll even protect you from far away threats. Vampires are known for their power. And the two of us are even stronger. Faster. More agile. More resourceful. Not even faraway snipers or missiles will be able to harm you while you're under our care. We can sense them far sooner than we can see them or hear them. And we can counter them almost instantly. You'll be safe under our care. So how about accepting us? We could even protect you from death itself. We could turn you into a vampire if you like. That's not an opportunity just anyone gets. You don't have to accept, but that option is very open to you. You wouldn't have to worry about disease. You never have to worry about coughing and wheezing feebly in bed with an unbearable fever. You never have to worry about being too fatigued from your sickness to do anything you like. Exactly. You'd never have to worry about the fragility of old age. You'd never have to worry about falling over, unable to get up, and no one coming to help you. You'd be a peak physical health, at all times. And you wouldn't even have to work for it. We'll take care of it all. You wouldn't even have to work for your meals. You could just drain blood from our thralls like we do. And think about how powerful you'd be. Granted, you probably wouldn't be nearly as strong as Rhea and me. We have the strength to grind diamonds into dust, and we almost have the precision to split an atom with our bare hands. But even the weakest vampires possess powers far beyond that of mortals. And don't be surprised if you can run up walls or punch through iron. You'd be able to do so much more. If anyone ever wronged you in the past, you'd easily be able to end them. And if for some reason you can't, Rhea and I would be overjoyed to end them for you instead. We'd kill anyone for you. Anyone. Even our own parents. It would be our pleasure. Because you're the only one who matters to us. And we'd do anything for you. But it's fine even if you don't want to end anyone. We'll be peaceful if you want us to be peaceful. Anything for you. Especially if you'll be ours and stay with us. As long as you stay with us, we'll give you everything. 
Even the clothes off of our very backs. Everything. Even every last moment will be spent on paying attention to you. If you'd like that. When we say everything, we mean absolutely everything. And it's because you're so precious that no honor is too great for you. We could name things after you. We could purchase street after street just to name them after you. And we could do the same for buildings, buying building after building just to name them after you. Even for the tallest skyscrapers, we'll name everything after you. Even ourselves if you want. All because we love you. We're pouring our hearts out to you here. No one loves you more than us. Yes. And we have so much to give. You've only seen a fraction of our wealth. We love you. We'd gladly spend every last cent on you. If you'd be okay with it, we'd commission countless statues of you. We could even make them out of solid gold if you don't think it's too tacky. Why, we'd even make the statues ourselves if that's what you want. To show how truly devoted we are. And we could commission paintings for you. There could be a unique painting of you in every different room of our state. And our state has a lot of rooms. You deserve it. Because you are so precious. And we need you to love us too. Do you think you could tell us you love us? Lilith and I haven't exactly heard those words from someone else before. Especially never romantically. And I don't know if you love us. But do you think you could tell us those words? Even if you're just pretending. You could even just write it or sign it. We're so desperate we're not exactly picky. You could even only say like if love is too much for you to say. Or if the saying it is too much, you could just give us a flower. Or even a single petal. Please. Just anything. To give us some affection. Please. Please, please, please. Please, please, do you, do you think you could tell us those three little words? <laughs> did, did you mean it? When you said you love us. Because we love you too. Well, <laughs> Obviously, you know we love you. We haven't exactly been subtle about it. Offering to build statues isn't the most low-key way of showing love. So then, do you love us enough to stay with us? You could even share a room with us. Yes, you must. We'd love to be yours just as much as you'd be ours. So will you stay with us? Forever. And never leave. <laughs> <laughs> you will? No. They said they'll stay. Rhea, they said they stay. I know. I can hardly believe it either. Finally. After all these centuries. We can finally start living. We have so much lost time to make up for. <sighs> what should we do first? How should we celebrate? Skydiving? Maybe we could all visit the karaoke room? Or we could do something more simple. We could all just sit around and talk. Maybe we could watch the stars together. Hmm. Oh. We could do something a bit more... Intimate. I still have never hugged a lover before. Rhea, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, that's right. We'll, we'll do, do whatever, whatever you, you want. want.